isang pamilya po tayong manalangin. Para sa mga pinakamamahal nating guru. Panginoon, na tagapagbigay ng lahat ng kaalaman at guru ng mga guru, bigyan po ninyo ng pagkalinga ang aming mga guru. Biyayaan niyo po sila ng kahandaang hubugin ang aming murang isipan. At huwag magsawa na kami ay patuloy na tulong. Pagpalain nawa ang kanilang mga puso nagdiriwang sa tuwing kami nagwawagi at kumakalinga sa tuwing kami nadadaig. Bigyan nyo niyo sila ng mahinahong pagtsatsaga dahil ang landas ng kaalaman ay hindi madali. Panatilihin ninyo sa kanila ang maapoy na diwang nagpapalakas sa kagustuhan namin matuto. Tulungan ninyo silang makita ang galing sa bawat mag-aaral. Wala sa marka ang halaga, kundi sa pananalig nila. Ibahagi ninyo sa kanila ang pagkauhaw sa karunungan. Ang mga bagong kaalaman at karanasan ay hindi dapat katakutan. Tulungan niyo po silang masiglang ang katuhin ang alamin. Kasinsikla at kasintayo sa sarili ng pag-aaral. Pagpalain po ninyo ang mga gurong na una sa amin, ang nagawa nila ay ang gagamit pa rin. Iwanagan niyo po ang mabuting halimbawa ng kaguruhan. Upang makapag-angat sila sa pamamagitan ng kanilang pangungusap. Upang makapagmahal sila sa pamamagitan ng kanilang isipan. Upang makapagbahagi sila sa pamamagitan ng kanilang puso. Siya ang nawa. Gaano man kabigat ang hamon, sipag at malasakit ang kanilang tugon. May kahirapan na ngayon sa pandemic. Kau as teacher, gusto mo pa ng more time with your student. Hindi lang sa pagtuturo. Excited na excited lagi yung mga estudyante namin na to see us. Kasi, ay, andiyan sina na ma'am, andiyan sina teacher. Dali-dali, mag-gather na yan sila. Ang ginawa po namin, Download po kami ng mga educational video. Binibit mit nila yung TV, binibit mit nila yung na knowledge channel video sa sa isang viewing station at doon po ipapalabas ng mga teacher yung mga learning videos na na mayro na knowledge channel na binigay nyo po sa amin. Pag sa pagpapakita kasi ng mga video parang nagkakaroon din yung mga bata ng interest hindi lang si teacher salita ng salita, de ba? Na ingganyo din silang manood at may natututunan din sila. Kung nakikita nyo lang po yung sa field talaga, tapos estudyante mo, nagkikwento sa'yo kung paano mo sila natungo motivate, kung paano mo nabago yung buhay nila, yung pananaw nila sa buhay, yun yung siguro ang greatest accomplishment mo as a teacher. Patunay na sa ating pagtutulungan, anumang pagsubok ay makakayanan. Ikaw, ano ang kwentong school at home mo? Going back to school is cool. Masaya yan. Tama. That's right. At mas cool ang mga aralin kasama ang mga kaibigan sa wika harian. Ang salitang naglalarawan ay mga salita na nagpapakita kung ano ang itsura, hugis, o iba pang katangian ng pangalan. Ganun pala yun? Ganun na! na. <laughs> And experience cooler ways to learn with Ready, Set, Read. Maybe a little music might help. Circles like a wheel. A circles like a wheel. Classmates tayo sa pinaka-fun na paaralan. Oh, ma! Okay, let's go! Dahil there's always something to learn sa school at home. Kung gusto, laging may paraan. Kaya ang mga bagong kaalaman, ihahatid sa inyong mga tahanan. Learn while having fun at home sa School at Home. Ma-amaze sa colorful world ng Gikaharian Online World with me, Ate Michelle. Kahit anong gusto mong matutunan, pwede mong matutunan if you devote time and effort. Mag-aral lang maigi upang buhay ay bumuti. Isip plus saga equals math dali. Hindi sapat na alam mo kung anong dapat gagawin, dapat gagawa mo rin. Pwede gumawa ng artwork gamit lang yung mga bagay na nakikita natin sa bahay. Going excited Exciting ang weekday mornings. Kumu Nek na sa School at Home Livestream sa Scene Zone Channel ng Kumu. Hi! 
Gandang umaga! Good morning everyone! And welcome to Art Smart with Teacher Precious! Okay? So, okay, so kamusta naman ang ating mga Facebook at viewers sa Kumu? Okay? So, sino ba yung mga kasama natin ngayon sa live stream? Pwede bang comment ang inyong pangalan, ang lugar, kung saan kayo nanonood, at it's your first time, at kung excited kayo for today. Yeah, please comment. Okay? Ayan, gusto ko malaman kung ano yung inyong, uh, kung sino-sino mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. Also, sa Kumu. Ayan. Okay. Wait lang ha. Sige, load ko lang. Ayan, si Francesca, si Spencer and Greta. Okay, sige pa. Wait lang, ilo-load ko lang ang aking uh, <laughs> browser. Ayan, si R. Christian. Siyempre, yung mga lagi nanonood sa atin, di ba? Ayan, si Alexis Pao, si Spencer and Greta. Ayan. Okay. Tapos today, okay, tayo ay mag-color ulit. Please prepare your uh, coloring material. Okay, pwede kayong mag-paint, pwede rin gumamit ng uh, crayons or dry media. Okay, hi din kay Donna. Yan. Ba? Okay, sige. Tapos, yan. At huwag kalimutang i-share ang live stream na to sa inyong mga friends. Kasi mas masaya pag mas marami tayo, di ba? Yan. Alam kong busy ang karamihan sa atin. Okay. Pero, yan. Share nyo sa friends nyo para mapanood nila. Kapag, ano, kapag sa weekend, di ba? Okay. Si Kaitlyn. Wait lang, hindi ko, tatry ko lang muna i-load. <laughs> Nasa comment section. Okay. Sige. Yan. Tsaka comment nyo rin kung ang inyong favorite color. Okay? Please comment your favorite color. Yan. At syempre si Olive Zoe, si Amethyst. Yan. Si Ma'am B- si Mercy. Si I- Sophia Ira from Binyan. Yan, nag-load na. <laughs> si Isabel. Si si Viv. Viv, hi! Wala kang class? Why? <laughs> You're able to watch today. At syempre si Lorlani. Hello po. Uy, buti nakalive po kayo today. Yan. Si Gabby and Dini from Las Piñas. Himig and Prince, syempre. Si Johan from Bukawe. Bulacan din ako. <laughs> Olive Zoe. Si Isabel from Bataan. Si Ma'am Jessica. Hi Ma'am Jessica. Kamusta po yung students natin? <laughs> Yan. Yan. Si Amethyst. Okay. Let's see. Oh, sige. Start na tayo. Ayan. Ay, si Olivia din. Si R.D. Look. Si Lance. Jared. Si Camille. Okay. Si John Vincent. Favorite color daw nila. Blue. <laughs> Ayan, sige. Later, we'll discuss about colors. Yeah, colors. Ayan. Okay, so ngayon. Okay. So, na-share nyo na? Na-share nyo na ba? <laughs> sige. Okay, so mag-start na tayo kasi mahab- medyo mat- uh, madami tayong matututunan today. Okay, we'll learn a lot today. Hi, kay John Vincent. Okay. At before we begin, gusto ko magpasalamat sa nag-post at nag-share na kanilang work. So, thank you so much for sharing and posting your works last week. So, let's appreciate it and let's watch this slideshow. Ayan. So, maraming salamat sa pag-share ng inyong color wheel to artworks. Okay. And today, we'll learn a new topic. Okay. We'll learn about how to combine colors. Ito pag natin kung paano ba, paano ba, ano ba yung mga color combinations na pwedeng gamitin? At ano ba ang mga iba-ibang characteristics ng color? Diba? Ayan. Hi, Tala and Sir Lee, Serena. <laughs> Kay si Manuel, nandito rin pala and please will. Okay, sige. So, ready na ba kayo? Okay. So, today, we'll learn how to combine some colors. 
And okay, okay, for the next, maybe for the next three sessions, we will focus on callers. Bakit? Kasi madaming pwedeng aralin sa callers. Hopefully, you can join me next, until next, the, the following weeks. Kasi we learn about callers. Marami kasi din nagtatanong sa akin, Teacher, paano mag-mix ng callers? Teacher, anong caller combinations yung maganda? And I know there are some or a lot of mga PR teachers or maybe preschool teachers here who are teaching about callers. Yung nagtuturo tungkol sa kulay. So, para hindi tayo malito at para maintindihan natin at ma-appreciate ang bawat uh, color harmony. Today, this topic uh, can be used for uh, elementary mape because we will try to make a landscape in the province. Okay? Ready na ba? If you're ready, please type ready. Ready, go, go, go. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> yeah. Si Alpha Sky, nandito. Si Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo. Hi, Yo-Yo. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please say to your... Hi to your mom. <laughs> Ayan, si Oy Oy. Okay. Ready na? Okay, Selge, let's start. So, I will show you a slide show. Ay, a video. I'll show you a video. Ito, if you want, you can watch this on my YouTube channel. Kasi ginawan ko siya ng short presentation. Ayan. Okay. Okay, play ba? Ayan, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube. Ayan. I will show you a picture. Okay, so our topic today are warm and cool colors. Okay? Yeah, look at this video. Anong nakikita nyo? Ano kaya to? Ano to? Oops, ano yun? Ano yun? What colors do you see here? Anong kulay ang nakikita nyo? Can you type? What colors do you see? What colors do you see? Ano yung mga kulay na nakikita nyo? Ah, oh, diba? Check ko ah, basahin ko ah. <laughs> si Megan Pins, ready, ready na. Yan, yes, red, yellow. Yan, our Christian, red daw. Ano pa? Yellow, red, orange. Habi ni Precious. Hi, Precious, the name niya. <laughs> Olive, so we red and yellow. Yes, okay. So, these colors, red, yellow, and orange, can be called the... Wait lang, ah. Yan, warm colors. Same like colors ng fire, ng sun, and yung, the feeling when we eat chili or sili. Diba? What, what's the feeling when we see or touch or taste these? Itong mga to, yung mga to. Anong pakiramdam pag nahawakan or natikman or nakita, nakikita natin itong mga to? Ha? Anong pakiramdam? What's the feeling? Diba? <laughs> Diba? Hot. Diba? Warm. Hi, Johan. <laughs> warm, hot, or warm colors. Yes. In photography, visual design, painting, uh, graphic design, in, in, in theater, cinematography, yung mga lighting, we call these warm colors. Warm colors. Kasi nga, these are usually colors of uh, warm Objects. Yan, di ba? Yan. So, ano ba yung warm colors? Di ba? Yun ito yung ginawa natin sa color wheel. Red, orange, and yellow. Okay, I have a question. When you see red, orange, and yellow, what's the feeling? Aside from warm, what emotion can you associate with red, orange, and yellow? Ano yung mga feelings or usually sa ang bagay ginagamit or saan yung pa nakikita ang red, orange, orange and yellow. Saan, can you give me examples? What objects or what feelings do you associate with red, orange, and yellow? Anong pakiramdam? Anong emotion? Sabi ni Wandelin, sunset, yes, fire. <laughs> Yan. Anong emotion ang nabibigay ng warm colors? Hi! <laughs> Ayan, nandito ba si Amboy? Ayan, si Joseph Christian. Hi! Thanks for watching. Spicy, sabi niya. At what emotion? Emotions. Di ba ano ba yung emotions? Angry, sabi ni Marsha. What color is associated with anger? Yellow, happy color. Yes, Alpha Sky. Look at me. I wear yellow, yellow orange because I think it's a happy color. Yes, angry. Alam na alam mo yung angry. 
angry lang ba ang na-associate sa red? So hot, sabi ni Mateo. Hot daw. Happiness for yellow, sabi ni RD. Yes, hot. Anger. Oy, oy, pag yun yung angry. Aside from anger. What's the opposite of anger? Puro, bakit puro angry kayo talaga? <laughs> What's the opposite of eh, pag Valentine's Day? Wow. Diba? Pag Valentine's Day. Diba? It's also the color associated with love. Puro angry kayo ah. <laughs> Red, yes. Diba? So usually for love, sometimes anger, happy colors. These are warm colors. Good job. Okay. Sino sa inyo may favorite sa uh, mga happy colors? Ako, I use yellow, orange. So it's, I think it's happy color. And madali siya makita. These are also vibrant colors or what we call what we call receding, ascending colors, I think. Ascending colors. Ito yung mga kulay na sinasabi nilang umaangat or matingkad or pag nilagay nyo siya sa isang painting or illustration or graphic design, it wouldn't stand out. Madali makita. Okay? So if you want some, okay. Saan natin ginagamit itong mga warm colors? Ginag-clue. Mayroon akong gustong tanong, ha? Saan natin ginagamit itong colors na to kapag gusto natin na magbigay ng importanteng uh, warning? Where can we see this? Saan siya ginagamit? Where can we see these colors? Okay, if we want to uh, tell some warning. Saan natin siya nakikita? Anong lugar? Yes, sabi ng aking mami. <laughs> si mami Loli. Signs! Di ba? Mga road signs. Stop sign. Yes, sabi niyo precious, di ba? The stop sign. Why do they use red and yellow? Di ba? What's the color of mga school bus? Or yung mga, yung sa bangketa, yung mga, ano, di ba? Traffic light, traffic light, Marsha, yes. Diba? We use... Hi, Kevin! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Diba? We use red, orange, and yellow for important signs like the stop sign. Diba? Because these colors are very bright, matingkad, umaangat, madali siyang... Ano? Sabi ni Alpha Sky, we use red for stop sign, orange, orange, <laughs> yan. Kasi madali siyang makita. We can see them easily. Diba? sa road, diba? yung red sign, pag over, madali siyang makita. So, if you want something to be seen, kung gusto nyo magbigay ng emphasis sa isang color, sa isang bagay, madali siyang makita, you use red, orange, and yellow, or warm colors. Yay! Wow! Yo, 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 look at that heart. Orange, red, and yellow heart. Okay. Red light, stop light, diba? Even sa stop light, we use, what's the color we use for the stop light? to sh that Traffic light pala. <laughs> What are the, what's the color that we use to show stop dun sa mga traffic lights? Diba? We use red. Yes. <laughs> si Alpha Sky. Okay. Good job. Okay. Next naman. Let's watch this. How about this one? <gasps> Look at this video. What do you see? Diba? What do you feel? Okay, if you want this, you want to show us uh, this copy of this presentation, you can also check my YouTube. I upload ko siya doon. What about this picture? What do you see and what do you feel? What colors do you see in this picture? And ano kaya ito? What is this picture? This is picture showing. Diba? It's a picture video of a... Wait lang, binalik ko lang. Diba? What colors do you see? Yan, si Maya, blue. Yes, blue. Diba? Diba, blue. It's the picture of a water, freezing water. Okay. Sabi ni Jonalyn, I feel sad with the color. Yes, Amit is favorite niya. Okay. So, these colors, okay. Okay, this color, the color blue, is an example of ano kaya ang klase ng color? Anong klase ng color? Diba? Cool colors. Okay. So, cool colors. Can you give me an example of objects that uses cool colors? Or objects that have cool colors. Ano-ano yung mga bagay na merong 
masasabi natin cool colors or malamig na kulay. Can you give me an example? Can you give me an example? Something that has cool colors, objects that have cool colors. Sabi ni Ma'am Ma Lea, reflection of the sky in the water. Yes, water. Ay, bukod sa water. Water lang ba ang presko? Malamig, relaxing. Relaxing colors. Ba? Water, relaxing colors. Yan. Ba, ito yung mga malamig na kulay. Also nature, di ba? Also, di ba? For the night sky, di ba? Pag gabi, malamig. What colors do we use? For the night sky, usually. Ba? Yan. Di ba? Violet or dark blue. Yan yung mga uh, usually cool colors. Okay? Yan. Yan. Cool colors. Cool colors like usually uh, blue, violet, green. Okay? So, yung yellow green, pag sinabi yung yellow green, medyo... Medyo naglilin na siya sa warm. And yung red-violet, di ba may violet? Merong red-violet, ibig sabihin more red siya. Mas naglilin na siya as warm violet. At blue-violet, ibig sabihin mas maraming blue. So medyo mas cool siya. Doon siya in between. But blue is really considered cool colors. Ayan. Okay, do you have a favorite color? Meron ba kayong favorite color dito sa cool colors? Can you give me other examples of objects that have cool colors? Nasabi ni Alex, pag snow, mountain. Well, depende sa mountain. Diba? Pag maraming uh, leaves, green. Okay. Nature, sabi ni Farah. Water, the blue, sabi ni Kian. Yes. Okay. And so now, these are the warm and cool colors, sabi ni Precious Whale Down. Okay, ice cream. Depende sa ice cream, Alex. So, yeah. So, these are uh, temperatures of colors based on how we perceive them, based on sight. Hindi siya siya na kailangan hawakan. Uh, yun lang yung pakiramdam na binibigay ng mga kulay na to. Okay? Now, we'll try to mix these colors using only primary colors. Okay? Yan. Okay, nice. Yan ba? Okay. Yan. So now let's move on to our activity. Okay? Okay, can you tell me which one do you like better? Do you like a uh, warm colors more or do you like cool colors? Alin yung mas gusto nyo sa dalawa? <laughs> yeah, sa sa big sa film, sa sa mga theater ginagamit din yung terms na color temperature like warm light, cool light. Ang ginagamit niya. Sabi yung Carmina, blue daw siya. Cool colors, mas gusto ni Miss Leia. Yeah. Pang relaxing, yes, cool colors. Okay. Hey, okay, next. So, okay. so now, we'll try to make, uh, for our activity, we will use cool, warm and cool colors. Yeah. Okay. Our activity today, we will make another landscape. Can you remember what is a landscape? Ano nga ba ang landscape? Diba? Na Nag-drawing tayo ng landscape before. Can you tell me? What's a landscape? Who can tell me what is a landscape? Anong makikita natin sa isang landscape? Remember, ano yun? Ano yung nakikita sa landscape? Ano? What? Diba? Ano yung nakikita natin sa isang landscape? A picture or a drawing of? Ha? Of? Land? Diba? Usually, nature. Diba? Yes. Okay. And... And, okay, a landscape, usually, but not all. Sometimes, middle ground and background lang. A landscape, remember, you, you you can review this. Two weeks ago, we had a lesson on how to draw landscape. Diba? We had foreground, middle ground, and background. Ano nga ba yung foreground? Yung pinaka? Foreground is yung pinaka. What is a foreground? Where do you see the foreground? Closest to the viewer. Pinaka malapit sa camera. Pinaka harap. So, in here, the foreground is the what's the foreground here pinakamalapit which what object is closest to the viewer diba pinakamalapit yung tree that is the foreground and then we have the middle ground yung gitna so what's the middle ground what's the middle part yung pina medyo gitnang part ng drawing natin what do you see there there oh what are those white things diba? the middle ground 
are the itong mountain and the sheep. Ha? What about the background? What what part of our drawings the background? Ano yung background natin dito? What's the background here? Ba, the background is the yung pinakamalayo. Ano yung pinakamalayo dito sa background is the sky and the sun. Okay? So that's the background. So in a landscape, usually there has at least two. Meron dapat background, meron foreground. Pwede rin namang middle ground siya foreground lang. Like this picture that I'm gonna show you. Okay. okay. Yan. You can find the present a short video presentation of this in my YouTube channel, Teacher Precious Art. Yan. So for this activity for today, we'll try to draw a back a landscape in the province. Can you guess what place is this? Anong lugar to? Saan natin makikita to sa Philippines kaya? Saan kaya? Saan kaya? Sabi ni Paul, this lesson is for grade 5. Yes. Sa mape. Ah, yes. Yes, Paul. Tama, grade 5. Chinect ko yun sa, sa curriculum yesterday. Ay, last time. Grade 5. Was seen in the province. Yes. Pwede pong gamitin to ng mga mape teachers. You can just share this video. Ha? Yan. Diba? This is in the Manawi Rice Terraces. What province? <laughs> Sabi ni Marsha, very good. Yes. Ay, sa YouTube po. Sa YouTube. Sa aking YouTube channel. Teacher Precious. Yan. Yung short version. Yan. Yan. Kasi alam ko minsan yung mga teachers natin na <laughs> short yung tayo. Diba? But if you want an interactive class, better po dito sa knowledge channel. Yan. And we'll try to draw yung, yung ipugaw hot. Yung ipugaw nila. Yan. Ang gagawin natin today. But, we will split our landscape into two parts. Gagawin nating uh, gagawin nating kalahati warm color and then half school colors. Okay? Yeah. Okay? So are you ready? You can use paint. I will demonstrate it with paint, but you can also use crayons. Okay? Sige, get your paper. Switch ko na dito sa atin. Thank you for watching. Yeah, live, live tayo mag-represent. Yeah. Because you're here. Diba? Siyempre, iba ka pag-live. Yeah. Okay. So, ito yung gagawin natin. Half. Uh, look, pag tinignan nyo to, half will be parang sunset. Diba? Warm. Ganyan siya. Parang sunset. Warm. Okay. But, yung kabila naman, look! Oh! Ano, gabi! Night sky! Mas malamig! Di ba? Okay. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, remember uh, when we, if you're used, uh, can you tell me what material are you using? Please comment if, what art material are you using? Are you using paint? Are you using crayons? Oh, watercolor or colored pencil? Or black and white lang ba? <laughs> oh, sige. Yan. Okay? Sige. So, also remember when you're using watercolor, make sure to have two water containers. One is for the dirty wash or yung unang banlaw. Then, babanlawan mo ulit dito yung paintbrush. Para malilis yung paintbrush nyo. Para hindi dudumi. Kasi, tingnan nyo, if you keep on washing, ito medyo madumi na nga. Pero kasi, yan. Pero ito mas madumi na kita nyo. Yan. So always try to use two water containers. And for this activity, we will use the oil pastel resist technique. Diba? Kasi mas madali mag-paint kapag merong oil pastel. Ayan, parang ganito. Yung black oil pastel, hinaharangan niya yung lines. So it's easier to paint. The paint stays within the line. So kahit preschool pa or minsan, I also use this with some of my students, mga special education students ko. Yan. Kasi it's easier to control. Kapag pencil lang or ball pen, yun yung pang art test natin. So if you're advanced, but you have to wait for the paint to dry. Ipapakita ko, ito yung isa kong ginawang activity. Ito yung walang border. Pero mas mahirap. Ito yung warm and cool colors. Diba? Warm colors, sun. Tapos yung building, warm colors, lahat yan. Ito naman, cool colors. Next time, we will learn about analogous colors. Next week, analogous colors. We will use analogous colors. Yan. But for today, warm and cool lang muna tayo. Ay, analogous ba? Or neutral pala muna ata. 
<laughs> Nasa colors tayo for the next few weeks. So that you can get a greater understanding of color harmonies. Okay? Kasi pag sinabay-sabay natin, malilito tayo. Okay, sige, let's start. Actually, you can change this. This doesn't have to be the yung Banawirai's terraces. Pwede nyo palitan. There can be flowers. It can be a desert, a night desert, and daytime desert, noon desert, di ba? Flowers, pwede ocean. But for this activity, si kasi sa grade 5 uh, curriculum, ito yung ating activity. Okay, so first, let's try to divide the paper into two. I'll be using a well, pastel na. Yan, kasi half half daytime, half nighttime, di ba? Medyo messy lang yung oil pastel. When you use oil pastel, dapat nakaangat yung kamay nyo. Huwag bababa. But if, if you're using crayons, if you're using crayons, no need to use oil pastel. Just marker, kasi hindi naman tumatapon yung kumakalat yung crayons and color pencil. I just advise you to use oil pastel resist for if you're using watercolor. Okay? Okay, now. Diba ko lang to? Inilaw ko. Ayan. Okay. Now, drawing natin yung sun and moon. Drawing akong circle dito. You can use a pencil first ha. Pwede yung pencil muna gamitin nyo. So you can erase pag nagkamali and then trace it after. You can use a pencil only first. Sun and moon. And then, okay, let's try to draw yung roof nung ni pahat. Ni pahat. Sa ipagaw ni pahat, meron siyang stilts eh. Ito yung roof. Yan. You, you can change the house. It can be a modern house, but in the lesson sa sa mapik curriculum kasi traditional house. So I chose ipugao house. Kasi yung palang yung napuntahan ko. And then zigzag. Kasi ito yung sa ni pahat, di ba? Ni pahat. Kasi na ba yun? Yeah, ba? Tapos, itong house, okay? Actually, this can be a building too. You can change it if you want. Yeah. Tapos, door. Nagyan natin ng parang door. And then, when you draw lines, ha, make sure to close the gaps. Dapat mag-connect yung lines. Don't leave gaps. Okay, to make your drawing look complete. You can draw window. Yan. You can draw a tree. If you don't want to draw the hut, you can just draw a tree or any object or a mountain. This will be our foreground. Pinakamalapit sa camera. Diba? As a viewer. Yan. Ipapakita ko lang. Tingnan nyo itong aking picture. Ayan. So, ito yung nipa hut. Diba? Ifugaw hut. Mayroong roof. Tapos merong, we, ano, meron siyang stilts, yung kawayan sa ilalim. So, it's a bit high, mas mataas siya. Yan natin yung stilts. Yan. <laughs> Masyado yata mataas. This is too high. Anyway, you can just change it. No, wag masyadong mataas. Yan. Nakakamiss mag-outing. Yan. So, this is our foreground. Ito yung pinakamalapit sa camera. Sobrang taas. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. Yan. Then, lagyan natin ng zigzag lines for the texture. Okay? And then, let's see. Let's add some more mountains sa foreground. Yan. You, you can change. You can do flowers if you want. Pwede nyo ibahin. Okay? Lagyan natin ng parang more... Uh, grass or mountains sa foreground. Yan. Masyado mataas ang aking stilts. <laughs> Dito sa sample ko, and then, sakto lang pala ito. Okay. Then, yan. Pwede na natin lagay yung rice terraces. So, if you look at this one, Diba? Yan siya. Parang stairs. Diba? Hagdan. Hagdan, hagdan pala yan. Parang ganun. Diba? So, lalagyan natin siya dito sa side. So, first, draw. Gawa tayo ng parang pancakes. Parang levels. Yan. Yan muna. One. And then, short line here. 
short light here. Short line. And then, here. Ayan. Please share this to your classmates. Like sabi ni Emmanuel Yata, this is lesson though for grade 5. If you think this can help your classmates, ayan. Share it. Ayan. Isa pa. Ayan. So, alternate to. Ah, curve line, straight line. Tapos curve line ulit, straight line. Ayan. Curve line, straight line. Ayan. Parang 3D, ba? Parang, parang stairs, parang pancakes na layer-layer. Tapos, isa pa. Ayan. Tapos, isa pa. Ba? Isa pa. Uh, curved line, then. Curved line, then. Straight line. Ayan. Tapos, curved line. Mayroon na tayo. Isa. Okay, now. We can do it on the other side too. Gawin din natin sa kabilang side. Okay? We'll make, gawin natin, balansehin natin. Do you know what kind of balance is that? May, baka merong nakakaalam dito. What kind of balance is this? Kung nasa right side, mirror image na yung nasa left side. We call it the symmetrical balance. Pag sinabing symmetry or symmetrical, kabilaan. Both left and right have the same parts. They look their mirror image of each other. Ayan. And then look ha, dapat isagad niyo yung lines dito. Look. Ayan, no? Because sometimes the tendency is to uh, make incomplete lines. Tuloy mukhang incomplete yung drawing niyo. Dapat ano. Ayan. Then here, mo, lalagpas dito ha, dito sa labas. Like this. Ayan, layer ulit. Isa pa, and down. Just layer ulit. Down, balik. Okay, isa pa. Then you can make another one. Let's make another one here. Dalawang layer tayo. Or isa lang. Sige, dalawa na. Hmm. Ilang layer ba yung ginawa ko rito? Dalawang layer yung ginawa ko. Isa pa. So, curved line. Down. Curved line. This curved line ulit. Down. This curved line. Curved line ulit. Yan, hindi nakita. Dito isa pa. Curved line. Down. Curved line. Tapos dito, curved line. Down. Curved line. Isa pa. Yan. Ganyan lang. Tapos... Diba? Parang ganito. Pwede nyo na. Pwede nyo na. Lagyan ng mountain sa likod. Pwede lagyan ng mountain sa likod. Kung gusto nyo. Okay. Or you, you, you can change it. Pwede nyo pang dagdagan. Gusto nyo. Ito naman yung, ano na, yung normal na mountains na. <laughs> Ayan. So, diba? Symmetrical balance. What's on the left side is on the right side. And then, let's make some for the back. Ah, diba? This is our foreground. The mountains are middle ground. Give na. And then, we have the clouds. 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 Yan. Tapos, you can choose. Do you want left side to be the night time? Night, night sky? Or right side yung warm light nyo? Diba? Then we can do the rays of the sun. Pag nag-color kayo, make sure na kompleto nyo. Last week, ay dun sa rainbow eye natin, merong iba, complete, very good. Yung iba, hindi na nag-color ng skin. Better if, ano siya, complete. Yan. Okay, now we're done. We can... Start painting or color. You can just use crayon. Same lang then. But for this one, uh, I will only use primary colors. I will only use primary colors. What are the primary colors? Ano mo ulit? Who can tell me what are the primary colors? Do you remember? Ano ang primary colors? Ano ano ang primary colors natin po? Ba? We have. Red, blue, 
and yellow. Sabi ni Camila, it's like nothing. Watercolor daw, ang dami pala magpipaint. Si Mercy, crayons. Oh. Okay, for crayons, just you can use, actually you can use three colors also. Ayan. I will just only use red, blue, and yellow. Tinanggal ko yung iba para talagang kita nyo na wala akong daya. <laughs> Ayan. So, how do we remember primary colors? The color of the flag of the anong flag anong bansa kaya yung may red blue and yellow color sa flag anong bansa what country has red blue and yellow <laughs> sabi ni yes it's the philippine flag aside from white ba the colors of the philippine flag red blue and yellow yun lang tatandaan niyo what are the primary colors red blue and yellow this is for the Subtractive color mixing. Pag sinabing subtractive, di ba? Last week, we discussed additive color mixing sa light and subtractive. Kasi kapag nag-theater kayo, nag-film kayo, pag nagla-lighting, iba naman yung colors na gamit doon. Pag pinagsama-sama, review lang ha. Pinagsama, last week, di ba? Pinagsama-sama lahat ng colors of the rainbow, di ba? Naging white. But when it comes to paint pigments, Pag pinagsama lahat ng color, anong lalabas? What ha- what color do we produce when we mix all colors? What color do we produce when we mix all paints? Hi, Karis! <laughs> Hi, Kyle! Wow! I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> Karis and Kyle can join. Yan. Diba? Magiging gray or black. Sige, start na tayo ha. So, I will first use yellow. Diba always... Hi, dirty. Always start with the lightest color. So, use yellow first. Medyo madami yung yellow ko. So, binasa ko lang siya and then I will remove the dirty color. Kasi, contam- check your paint. Minsan, contaminated na siya ng ibang color. Nilinisan ko lang. That's why you have to wash your brush two times. So, dito muna sa dirty. And then, dito sa clean. Para mas clean yung water. Ayan. So, I'll start with the yellow color. Kasi, baka magdumi tayo pag gumamit tayo ng dark. So, I'll color the sun. Yellow. Ayan. You can use uh, crayon, siba. A-alternate ko yung colors na rays. Uh, look ha. Tinan nyo yung line ko dito ha. I close the gap. There's no gap in between. Between the lines, ha? close the lines. Close all lines. Then I will alternate. Yan. So yellow. Ano pa bang yellow dito? Maybe for me, the top part of the rice terraces can be yellow. Dito half yellow, half orange. You can blend that. Yan. See, if you have oil pastel, it's easier to paint. You don't need to wait for the paint to dry. Kasi what will happen, di ba, if you're using paint, what will happen if you put two wet paint side by side? Example, yellow to. Tapos lagyan ko ulit ng red. What will happen to the paint if you put them while they're wet? Di ba? They will bleed. Kakalat. Kakalat yung paint. Yan. So now I'm done with the yellow. Now let's try to... Hmm... I'll try to put uh mix orange. Okay? So how to make orange? How to make orange? What paints or what colors do we use to make orange? Ha? So this is how I get paint. I'll dip your water sa paint brush, uh, brush sa paint water, get some yellow. Make sure your brush is clean. Ha? Put it here. Ganito, dip. Tapos kailangan niyo siyang stroke ng ganun. If you're using color, just uh, color, you can just combine you lang sa isang space yung yellow at orange yan. Then, you wash your brush. Wash nyo ulit to. Wash. Wash dito. Then wash dito. Second wash. Yan. Then make some red. Kuha tayo ng red. Just natin dito. Yan, red. Yes, tama si Mercy. We use yellow and red to make Orange, di ba? Yan na, orange. 
If you're using crayon, mix nyo lang sa paper nyo orange. I will color this part orange. Yung side, yung side. If you want, ha, you can pour crayons. Ha, try using yellow and red only sa crayons. Combine nyo yung red, yellow muna sa pink. Yan. Yan, di ba? Okay. Mixing red. Hindi ako ng konting red. Pwede ko i-blend ng konting. Yan. Tapos sometimes, look, lumagpas. So what do we use? We can use cotton buds. Mga na yata ang cotton buds. Hmm. And cotton buds. Uh, yan. Dito. Dab nyo lang ng konti. Pag crayons, no worries. Kasi you just... Uh, <laughs> You can have more control. Ano pa yung orange dito? Dito. Ayan. Pusing ko na, ha? Ayan. Dito mas dark yung dito ko ilalagay. Ayan. Orange. And then, the foreground, I will color it red. I'll color it red yung pinakamalapit. It's my red uh, dito red ko. Itong red ko, ah. Ito. Usually, or most of the time, or actually in reality, the foreground should be the most vibrant. Yung foreground, yung pinakamalapit nyo na object, sa screen yun dapat yung mas dark yung kulay. Yan. In this case, I'm using red. Okay. Tapos yung background, medyo ipifade ko na lang. I'll add more water, look sa... Yan, para maging mas fade. Dito medyo mas warm pink lang. And then, I'll try to mix warm brown. Paano mag-mix ng warm brown? Okay, you just mix ye red, yellow. Ay, how to make brown? Mix orange and blue. Orange and blue. Or pag gusto nyo ng medyo mas brown, damihan nyo lang. Mix nyo yung red, blue. Mix red, blue, and yellow. But add more yellow to make brown. Yan, so gawa ako ng orange. Yeah, medyo yellow orange. And then look, wash ko muna dito. Wash. Make sure to clean your brushes ako kasi now maghahalo-halo yung paint mo dyan. Wash, wash, wash. Wash ko twice. Then I'll get some blue. Higin nyo ng konting blue to. Ayan o, oh, diba? Kung naging brown na siya, hindi nyo siya na magay dito. Ayan. Diba? Now, dito sa clouds, higyan ko lang ng konting-konting touch ng... Orange. Konti lang. Now, for the warm, i-blend ko lang pala yung red. Now, for the cool colors. Let's start with the blue. Paint this blue. 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 A uh, vibrant blue to ha, kasi gusto ko medyo mas dark ng konti. Ayan. Dark, kasi you can use, uh, pwede din ng daytime. Pero ito gawin kong nighttime. Pwede rin yung gawin daytime. Gawin nyo na lang yellow tong sun part. But if you want medyo nighttime. Okay, I want the top part to be purple. Gusto ko medyo mas purple yung taas. So, ang gagawin ko, and I'll add a little bit of red here. Konting red dito para maging mas darker siya. Yan ang kita nyo, naging mas dark. Yan, dab, 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 dab lang. Dab, 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 dab. Yan, tapos since it's wet, kakalat siya ng kusa. Para medyo dark lang yung taas. For the moon, very, mas more water para mas light lang. Yan, ba light lang siya. And then I'll use cotton buds to create the crater. Tingnan nyo ah. Para may butas-butas yung moon natin. Ay, hell, kalata ba? Hindi nyo makita masyado eh, pero... Eh, basta cotton buds, yan. Bilog, bilog, bilog. Yan, to create the crater of the moon. Actually, you can... And draw the crater of the moon later. Then, blue ulit for the... Maybe the light blue. How to make light blue? Just get blue, but add more water. 
clean water ah clean water ah nako make sure to use clean water kaya dapat to if you're using dirty water all your colors might get dark and muddy and brown hindi na kayo makakagawa ng bright vibrant blue so make sure the secret is to use clean water all the time yan so medyo purple na iwan So, mas, mas maraming water. I used more water here so that it's a bit lighter. Diba? Medyo mas light siya kasi dito. Yan. Blue, red, orange, yellow, green, brown. Yan. Then, diba? I used more water here. This one, I want this one, this part, kasi it's, this is the moon. Eh. This is illuminated by the moon. Naiilawan siya ng moon. Remember, diba? Ito yung highlight. So, ito yung mas dark. So, here, just use less water. Dapat medyo mas dark siya. Mas concentrated ng konti yung pink. Ayan, di ba? Purple naman to. Ay, bio, medyo purplish. Violet is the color of the eggplant, yung mas dark. Ayan. So, in here, I'm adding more blue. Kasi yung violet, red violet, can be a bit warm na yun eh. Medyo mas warm na. So, dito tayo sa dark blue. Then, yung mountain. Hmm, ano pa bang color ng mountain? Uh, what are the other cool colors that we're missing aside from blue and violet, di ba? What's the last one? What's the other cool, cool color? Yung color? Color of the shrubs or leaves. What's the color of the trees and the bushes? What color should we use? The color green. How do we mix green? But how do we make green? How can I make green if I only have yellow, blue, and yellow, red, and blue? How do we make green? Anong gagamitin natin para mag-create ng green? If you own, kahit crayons, if you're using crayons, what color should you mix? This, you can use markers too, ah, crayons. Ah, we use... Yellow and blue to create green. But always start with the lightest color. Unahin nyo gamitin yung lighter color pag nagbe-blend kayo. So unahin nyo yung yellow. So try to mix yellow. Dito na ako direkta mag-mix sa paper. Tingnan nyo ha. So first I add ye yellow. Okay. Then, diba, wash, wash, wash. Wash nyo ha. Wash dito. Wash. Wash twice. And I'll add blue. Yan. Para malinis na. Look, my brush is clean. Wala nang yellow dyan. So, I can dip it here. So, it won't be dirty. Then, I will add some blue here. Yeah. Then, you can blend it. Yeah. Medyo mas green na siya, di ba? That's how it... Dito, I will leave this a bit yellowish ng konti. Sige, bagbaga ko na nga. Kasi mas gusto ko mas warm. Yan. Now, it has a green, greenish. Medyo green. Medyo mas dark lang. Kasi, this is actually blue-green. I added more blue eh. But if you want more yellow, green, just add more yellow, use less green. I use less blue. And also here. Yeah. There. Yay. Ito medyo blue-green. Ay, yung clouds. Wait lang yung moon nga. Ayusin ko yung moon. So, mas makikita nyo pa yung crater. Diba yan yung moon? Tapos, dagdagan ko siya na spots. Ayan, para medyo may texture lang yung moon. Ah, this one, yung brown. I'm gonna make a gray. So, di ba, I have brown. Brown means there's more yellow and red than blue. In this case, I'll just add more blue here. Ayan, to make it darker. Ayan, to make it more grayish. Ayan, gray na siya. Black, blackish gray. So, ito yung gagamitin ko para dito sa hot. Kasi di ba, cool colors. You have to use more blue. Yung cool colors ka. Di ba? Ayan. So, we have a gray. Ito, dadarkan ko lang. I will put more pigment. How to put more pigment? You don't, you don't stroke. You just dab. Ganito. Dab, dab, dab. Isasawad-sawad nyo pabalik. Mo. Dab, 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 dab. You know. Dab, 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 dab. Dab, 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 dab. Ayan. Ta-da! 
So this is my uh, view the province. Ay, yung clouds na lang. Konti lang dito. Konti lang. So highlights yan. Dito ko lang nilagay sa side kasi this is our light source, the moon. So dapat dito yung light, dito lang konti shadow. Okay? There. Ah, let's see. How's your work? How's your work? Yeah. So, pag tinigan natin siya, ganito. Ayan, pwede nyo palagyan na designs later. Yan, yung mga konting damo-damo. At dito, I put salt. Okay. Again, you can check this video also on my YouTube channel. Yung short presentation kung nagmamadali kayo. So, search nyo lang sa YouTube. Teacher Precious Art. Yan. Hi. How was your work? Kamusta naman yung works ninyo? Tapos na ba? Yan. <laughs> Tell me, how was your work? Sabi ni Amethyst, good. Ah, reminder. Ito, ah, check, check ko ha. I will check this once you post your picture. Ayan, kung wari ako, medyo kulang pa dito. You should paint all parts ha. Hanggang sa sulok ito. Ayan o. Hanggang dito dapat. Oops, may violet pa yung paint ko. Yan, dapat hanggang sulok ha. Paint all edges. Ayan, hanggang sa gilid. Hanggang dito, ha? You know, hanggang dyan. Hanggang dyan. Okay? Try not to leave white spaces so that your work will look complete. Ayan, okay. Yes, so tapos na rin ba kayo? Sana makita ko yung works ninyo. Ha? We hope to see your work so that we can feature it on our page, on Knowledge Channel Facebook page. Also, Hopefully, on my page too, di ba? So, paano? How to post? So, magpatulong lang kay Lanana at Tatay. Take a photo. Okay? And then, upload it. Here, maybe on Facebook. Set your post to public. I-public nyo po. Public, ibig sabihin na pakikita ng lahat. Okay? That means you allow us to share your photo. Okay? And don't forget the hashtag, ArtSmartWithTeacherPressShoes. Siguro, yan. Art Smart with Teacher Precious, ha? Ito, parang sulat ko, parang hindi niyo makalimangda. Art Smart with Teacher Precious. Okay, medyo mahaba, pero, yan, para, it will help us find your, find your uh, post. Diba? Ito, ha? Hashtag, hashtag, art, smart, with, teacher, Precious, yeah. <laughs> uh, don't forget to tag us. Tag nyo po ako, Teacher Precious, and tag Knowledge Channel too. Yeah, so that we can all share your works. And habang online, okay, you can also watch the replay of this live stream on Just Love Kids website. Just log on to abs-cbn.com at i-click ang Knowledge Channel tab. And habang online, you could also visit my website. Uh, teacherpreciousart.com yung nandito sa yung nandito pala yan ito ito yan yung nakikita niya dyan okay for the for I have a free watercolor online course and then I will teach the seven eight watercolor techniques yan also don't forget to like my Facebook page too and subscribe to my YouTube kasi mag-upload meron akong in-upload doon na video itong short version nito okay search lang Teacher Precious Art and also on Instagram search nyo lang Okay, at syempre, dito dun tatapos ang ating activity, you have to clean up. Sige nga, sino nagligpit ng work nila? Ligpit, oh, wipe your, wipe, wash your brushes, wash them twice. Yan, wash, 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 wash. At siguro doing to clean up. And make sure to wash your hands after our art activity. Okay? Don't forget to wash your hands. Okay? Are you finished? Tapos na ba? Okay? Don't forget to share this, ah. Sige, okay? So, thank you so much again for joining us today. I hope to see you again next week. I think we will learn about, let's see, if maybe neutral colors or analogous colors. Uh, let's see. Okay, because para maintindihan natin, ano-ano ba ang mga color combinations na pwede natin gamitin? At ano yung feeling, ano yung purpose na para sa natin siya gagamitin? Diba? Okay, so I hope to see you again next Friday. Okay, at tulad na nakita nyo, lahat tayo may kakayahan kumuha ng R. Diba? Yan. Okay, sige. At syempre, don't forget to practice. Okay? 
Okay, so tumahan niyo ulit kami next Friday, 11 o'clock, para sa next episode ng Art Smart. Okay, don't forget, know your art, be art smart. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye, see you next week.